okay in uh, this lesson i'm going to do the questions on recursive rule so recursive rule and by recursive rule we mean is that the previous terms depend on uh, the, the for example if we have second term it will depend on first term or third term will depend on second term in general rule uh, when you find the general rule of a sequence then you uh, can find any terms independent of knowing their previous terms but when it's a recursive rule you need to know the previous terms to be able to find out um, any specific term so this is called recursive rule so i'm going to explain that um, in these four examples here how to find the specific term of a recursive rule so basically in in this lesson i'm going to show you how to find a specific term specific term in a recursive rule so that's what we are doing here how to find uh, so i'm going to do four examples in this lesson so find the 10th term of the sequence you have a n is equal to n into a n minus 1 now this a n minus 1 uh, this is the subscript so subscript and this this has a meaning in terms of when I substitute a1 is equal to negative 1. So it helps us to find out the number of terms. For example, when for number of terms, if I use a1, which means this subscript tells me this is the first term. If you have a2, this subscript tells me uh, that this is the second term. In IB, we use u1, u2, u3. But in these questions, they have given the uh, the formulas using a n. So we will keep it as a n. But the role of this n is you keep on substituting the values. It will keep on giving you the terms. So now I'm going to start with here in this recursive rule, as you can, as I explained that it depends on the previous terms. That's why the first term is given in some recursive rules they also give you uh, two first two terms and but in, in these all four examples they have given you the first term and they are asking you to find the tenth term of the sequence so I'm going to start here a1 is equal to negative 1 which is already given now we need to start with n is equal to 2 so when I substitute n is equal to 2 so a2 is equal to 2 times a and here you will substitute so I'm going to do this in a, inside uh, so a when you substitute n is equal to 2 so you will get a1 okay at the side so on the side i'm doing this so you have a a n is equal to n a n minus 1 so i substituted n is 2 which is a2 so 2 a 2 minus 1 2 minus 1 is 1 which means your a2 is twice of a1 and a1 is, you already know so this is 2 times negative 1 so you get negative 2 so a2 is equal to negative 2 once you got a2 you need to do exactly the same thing a3 so a3 will be 3 a 3 minus 1 so 3 times a2 and we already know 3 times negative 2 gives you negative 6 so this is a3 so similarly a4 is going to be you can see the pattern also so a4 if it's a3 this is 3 a2 so a4 is going to be 4 a3 and 4 into negative 6 is negative 24 similarly a5 is going to be 5 a4 so 5 into negative 24 and if i want to find a10 that will be equal to 10 a9 but I will need to find A9 first. So this is how you find the 10th term. So I'm not going to do all the way uh, to find the 10th term. But this is the concept behind uh, finding um, any specific term of a sequence using the recursive rule. So I'm going to do another one. Uh, the statement is uh, slightly different, but the procedure is going to be exactly the same. So this next one is this, uh, where you have a n is equal to a n minus 1 plus 10 and a 1 is 11. Now I'm going to start with n is equal to 2. So you get a 2 is equal to a 2 minus 1 plus 10. So you get a 2 is equal to a 1 plus 10. So a 1 is we already have a1 which is 11 plus 10 so that is 21 so you got a2 similarly for a3 you will get a3 minus 1 plus 10 so a3 is a2 plus 10 so a3 will be 21 plus 10 so that will be 31 so that is your a3 and now a4 
is going to be, again, you can see the pattern now. So A4 is going to be A3 plus 10. And then you can do A10 is going to be A9 plus 10, but you cannot find it uh, at this point because you will need A9. A9. And to find A9, you will need A8. To find A8, you will need A7 and so on. So now you can find, keep on finding the terms. So here you will get 41 and then A5 is equal to A4 plus 10, which means it's going to be 51. So now you can use that or you can see the pattern. So you got basically 11, 21, 31, 41, 51, and then you can keep on doing 61, 71, 81, and 91. And first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seven, eight, nine. And then you have, you will have your 10th term here, 101. So that will be your 10th term. So once you have a pattern, so maybe you don't have to uh, proceed like this. So you look at the pattern and then you can find the 10th term. So maybe in the previous one also, uh, it's a good idea to write down the terms you got. So this is negative two. Then you got, no, A1 was negative 1. And then A3 you got was negative 6. And A4 is negative 24. And see that if you can find out the pattern from here. And then uh, you can extend this and find A10. If not, then you have to do all of the steps in between. So hopefully you will be able to see the pattern. I mean, I can see here. This is times 2. And then this is time 3. This is time 4. So the pattern is times 5. If you're not sure, you can find another one and can see it. So by using the pattern, you can find your A10, okay? Now, the next one is uh, AN is equal to AN minus 1 times 3 and A1 is negative 3. So, again, you start with N is equal to 2. A2 is equal to A1 times 3. So, A2 is 3 times A1. So, that gives you 3 times negative 3, negative 9. So, A2 is negative 9. Similarly, your A3 is going to be A2 times 3. So, A3 will become 3 times, A2 is negative 9, so negative 27. At least find first few to see the pattern because two terms or three terms are not sufficient. So, at least you need to have like four or five terms so that you can see the pattern. And then, if you see the pattern, you can extend. If you don't see the pattern, hopefully you will be able to see the pattern. But if you don't see the pattern, then you need to continue this way. So, here A4 is going to be three times A3. So, three times negative 27 gives you um, negative 81. So you will get negative 3, negative 9, negative 27, negative 81 and hopefully you can see what is the um, pattern here and then you don't have to proceed this way and then you can finish your 10th term here. But you will have to extend because that, that is different uh, from the general term. In general term, once you have a formula, you know, you can find any specific term as I said before. Now I'm going to do the last one here. So the statement is slightly different than what we had in the previous one. So a n is equal to 2 plus a n minus 1 over 2. The concept is exactly the same. a1 is negative 14. So we start with a2. n is equal to 2. So 2 plus a1 divided by 2. So you get 2 minus 14 divided by 2, which is minus 12 divided by 2 minus 6. So a2 is negative 6. As I said, to be able to identify the pattern, you need to have a few terms before you um, can decide that this is the pattern. So for A3, this is going to be 2 plus A2 divided by 2. So 2 negative 6 over 2, this gives you negative 2. So A3 is negative 2. And similarly, again, you can find A4, which is 2 plus A3 divided by 2, which is 0. So your sequence is, looks like negative 14, then it's negative 6, and then you got negative 2 comma 0 and then you can see if you see any uh, pattern here. So is it plus 8 then plus 8 but then if you do plus 8 here it should give you 6. So either there is a mistake here or um, or you know there is no such pattern here then you have to keep on um, doing this procedure until you get your 10th term.